Last but not least, you know what time it is. It's rapid reactions. A lot of topics, a little time. The floor is yours, Jay. Here we go. Denver Nuggets center Nikola Jokic recorded his 50th career triple-double last night with 37 points, 11 rebounds, and 10 assists and a blowout win over the Milwaukee Bucks. Only Wilt Chamberlain has more triple-doubles among centers all time. Your thoughts on this accomplishment for the Joker? Listen, you said it, Wilt Chamberlain. So if we're going to give Wilt Chamberlain all the respect in the world, we got to start respecting the Joker. I mean, I know his body composition kind of throw you off a little bit, but it's a bad boy. We know what it is. We got to start respecting these Europeans that's out here showing his good skill. So, hey, I like it. And we're going to see more. Um, I would say this, though, Joker. If you want respect, you got to earn it. It's You got to get in the NBA Finals at some point if you want people to start respecting you like these some of these other guys. You know, but in his perspective, he's doing the damn thing. I'm with it. Let's go. The new Lions head coach, Dan Campbell, said his assistant head coach, Deuce Staley, is going to be prim- he's going to be prime and ready to be a head coach when when it's all said and done. What do you make of those comments? Uh, they're they're really nice. Um, Dan, Dan Campbell, you you know as well as that. What'd you call them? Kneecaps or whatever. Kneecaps. I I, I can't. <laughs> I, I I'd have more respect for this if this was a guy like Mike Tomlin or somebody reputable. Like yeah, you know what? I'm coaching him up. He's gonna be a head coach. Is he gonna be a head coach, Dan? Is he? Because we know the Lions about to come out here and go like five and eleven, and no one's gonna want to have anything to do with your coach. Even though I do agree, I'd like to see Deuce Staley get a job, but I don't. I don't need to hear this for Dan Campbell. Do, do your job. Be a successful head coach, like nobody on this set believes you're gonna be with your <laughs> kneecaps and everything. Kneecaps. Get about it. The Pac-12 released its full nine-game 2021 conference schedule on Tuesday, becoming the first Power Five conference to do so. Uh, UCLA will be in action first on August 28th. And the first conference battle will be Stanford and Southern Cal on September 11th. I see they're trying to get ahead of things after last year. Anything stand out to you on the Pac-12 docket? Uh, just the fact that the Pac-12 want to play football. Um, you know, <laughs> here's the deal. I mean, I, if it's a way to get, you know, the rest of the country excited to see Pac-12 football is to jump before everybody else because yeah. that's you know what i'm saying if you're not first you're last that type of mentality so they jump out they let us know we're like oh shoot okay cool boom 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 but we know once the big 10 and the sec and the acc start talking they know us you know they'll go back to where they gotta be but i'm just i would say this because you know the pac-12 was the conference that was the most worried about you know covid out of the power uh, the power five and I would say this, maybe this is a good look on the future of college football, now that the Pac-12 is more focused on actually playing football and the coronavirus not slowing them down on, and that part of the United States. So, hey, I'm happy. I'm with it. More content for us. I ain't never going to be mad at that. Florida State men's basketball coach Leonard Hamilton has agreed to a five-year extension worth $2.25 million per year. That's a thumbs up or a thumbs down? That's the thumbs up. Uh, Leonard Hamilton has done a tremendous job. He looks like he's going to be in line to win his second consecutive regular season ACC title. Um, not too long ago, it would have been unthinkable for Florida State to be regarded as a basketball school, but that's what's happened. Uh, congratulations to Leonard Hamilton. Jets GM Joe Douglas is open to hearing offers for quarterback Sam Donald, and multiple teams are interested, according to ESPN's Adam Schefter. All right, Drink, will Donald play for the Jets in 2021 or will he play for someone else? No, he'll play for the Jets. And the, the unfortunate part about Sam Donald is this. I think Sam Donald could play. But because of the way the Jets have been such a, you know, trash show, for lack of term, um, <laughs> it's no other team. I, I, I just find it hard that another team would gamble on Sam Donald because they feel like we haven't seen enough, like, I don't know. So, I mean, the Justin did him such a, you know, disservice. You can't, you won't be able to trade him. And even if you trade him, you're not going to get back whatever you asking for. Like, you're going to probably give him a six and a conditional third or you know, some wild, you know. So, but to answer the question, he, I think he'll start the season in, his, in a Jets uniform. And will he get traded midway through the season? That's a possibility. But I think he'll start off the season as the Jets quarterback. Today, the New York Yankees announced manager Aaron Boone will have surgery to get a pacemaker. Your reaction? 
Well, I hope his surgery goes well. And he had he had open heart surgery back in uh, 2009. So I think some uh, I think he's had some issues in the last few weeks trying to get it addressed. So hope all goes well with it. And I hope, I hope wish him a speedy recovery and uh, look forward to seeing him uh, back in the dugout for the Yankees in the coming months. University of Alabama is planning to host full capacity college football games at Bryant Denny Stadium in the upcoming season. You expect more teams to follow suit. I expect more states to follow suit just like the Texas governor did. He didn't lay down the law, and you know how we feel about football now. So, so all he did was just accelerate the process a little bit. I expect every team, at least every Southern team that matters, to have a full stadium come this fall. Maybe the Pac-12 might be out here with a 15, 20% and the Big Ten, but not these Southern states. No way. Every team going to follow suit, I think, down south. After 10 seasons in Minnesota, the Vikings have released tight end Kyle Rudolph. Was that the right call? I think it was. That is, I believe he had his least productive season since he's been in Minnesota, um, you know, on the wrong side of 30. I think Minnesota's got a pretty good young tight end in Irv Smith. I think he watched him might be a breakout candidate. But, yes, and yeah, I think that this was the right time for this. Uh, meanwhile, in Miami, the Dolphins will reportedly release linebacker Cal Van Noy just one year into a four-year, $51 million deal. Did that surprise you? Yeah. I, I, I'm baffled, but then I say maybe they want to save the money and give it to Deshaun Watson. Hint, hint. I don't know, but I don't I don't, I don't know. That was fast. It was fast. I don't know why you pay him all that money in the offseason just to get rid of him. Maybe they realized he wasn't worth the squeeze and they got bamboozled or catfished or something. I don't know. But, yeah, that, that is pretty fast. I don't, who knows? Last one, Raptors, Celtics, tomorrow night in a rematch of last year's Eastern Conference semifinals. Who you got winning and why? Kemba stays hot. Jason Tatum gets back on track. And the Celtics win it just like they did last season in the Eastern Conference Finals. And that concludes today's Drink of Wisdom. As always, like, share, subscribe, and listen. We'd appreciate it all. I'm Jay Wise. I'm Nathan Drinker. And remember, make tomorrow better than today and make today better than yesterday. And you know what we're going to do over here at the Drink of Wisdom. We're going to holler at you until next time, baby.